Okay, it's uh, Thursday uh, night, the 13th of uh, February, and it's getting late, still cold in the garage, and I should be in bed, but this uh, cylinder head arrived this evening. It's an experimental cylinder head with lots of machine shop hours spent behind it. So I was just curious, I said, I just need to know what, what they have shipped me here. So I have mocked up at 100 thousandths, we're going to flow this, uh, I call it a high-rise intake port design, very tall. Uh, basically we've got three ports here, this high-rise, then a, it's like a lower profile riser port, and the big daddy of them all over on this side here. But for tonight, I'm just curious as to see how this one here behaves. So I've set up the equipment and we'll, we'll bring it up. Hopefully my clay, which is just a temporary mock-up, uh, won't be sucked in. Um, all I've done is put in a stock exhaust valve and a stock intake valve. Uh, the chambers are stock other than this modification as far as I can tell everything is pretty much stock so let's see how she rocks and rolls <laughs>
Wow. What can I say? That baby took off uh, once it got up to uh, 450 and uh, was really looking sweet on the high lifts from 500 on up and continued to climb even beyond 600. Uh, so that has to be a record for a stock Studebaker valve 1.652. This is uh, definitely uh, definitely a sweet design, and I'm all fired up here. Once once I work some magic with a bigger valve and do some uh, mystery work up inside the bowls there, this uh, is going to be really interesting. In a way, it looks like a, a very uh, interesting design, and uh, I'm surprised. Didn't expect it to be that that uh, aggressive at the higher list, but it really, really took off good after uh, from 400 inch on up. And uh, this is the future right here. This is the next generation. Okay, uh, that's all for tonight, and uh, thank you for viewing, and have a, have a good Valentine's Day tomorrow with you, with your lover. Good night.